Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be shortening these forward blinds. These are two inch blinds. And as you can see here, it is way too long. I'm going to be removing all these slats right here. All right, so the first thing that I did was mark off with a piece of tape, which slat that I wanna keep. So I'm gonna keep this one right here. I'm going to pop off the bottom of the plugs here. I have four of them going down. So you're just going to get underneath there and just pop these up just like that. So after you've popped off your plug, make sure you never ever cut this. This is always gonna stay intact. Go ahead and get your scissors out and you're gonna snip across the ladder string that comes across the bar so that you have them split just like this. So go ahead and do all four of those. All right, so far I've removed two slats, as you can see right here. This slat right here, I've already cut. I just have to do the right side and then I can slide it off. I'm gonna trim this, make sure I'm not cutting any cords at all. So that will slide out just like that. So you just keep doing that until you get to your desired height. I'll take it back out right now and then fully extend it out. And we're gonna go ahead and zoom in to this little area over here so you can see what kind of cuts I'm gonna do. All right, so the cuts that I'm gonna be making on this side, I'm gonna be doing with all the other three sides. So all four sides are gonna look exactly the same. So I'm gonna get my scissors and you wanna make sure that you don't cut any of these main lines because then you're gonna have some major problems. These are the lines that are under tension. So let's go ahead and get the cutting. So chop that off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Cut this. And it can be pretty long because you're gonna tuck it away un um, anyways underneath the bar and put the plug in. So it's gonna basically wrap around that bar just like this. And then the plug is gonna go into the bottom bar there. All right, so now I've cut all four of them as you can see right here. All four of these are cut the same exact way. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back up so I can get close again. And let's see, are we there yet? We are almost there. There we go. So I'll stop right there. And so I don't know if you can see that from here. Hopefully I can give you a better visual of what I'm doing. I actually cut off more of the string. It was a little bit too long for me and it'd be too much for me to tuck into the uh, bottom plug part. So I went ahead and popped off the plug I laid down the ladder so it's nice and flush and even on top of this bar right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use both hands to keep these pieces of uh, cord here stationary. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this plug out and I'm gonna go ahead and tuck these. Let me see if I can zoom in for you really quick here. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck these wires inside here. I mean, the cord pieces inside and then use my plug just like that. All right, so I finally did the other three. And so this is the first one, the second, third, and fourth. You can see here up close, it's nice and level all the way across on that bar on the ledge over here. And I don't have all nine of these extra thick slats um, sitting there in the way. so. Really happy with the way it came out. I'll go ahead and test the functionality again and close it. And you can see how much cleaner that is. I couldn't do that before because there were too many of those pieces in the way. So this is what it looks like in the daytime. I was doing the project at night. Um, as you can see here, the extra slats are all gone. It's nice and level. And again, this is a cordless setup. I'll show you this living room over here that has five corded um, blinds, faux wood. So you can see here, these are really, really long. At one point, they were too long. I had to do the same thing and trim them down. So you can tell this is a corded faux wood blind because it has two lines. So as you can see here to your left is your adjustable line where when you pull on it, it opens and closes it just like so. And then to the right is gonna be your pull cord that is responsible for lifting up your blinds. And so you can tell that this is the pull cord because as I'm pulling on it, you can look at the middle part of this line right here and watch how it tries to move. 
So you wanna stay away from that line right there. But very similar setup as a cordless. If I'm looking to adjust these blinds, again, you don't want to uh, cut your uh, pull line. You want to release all the slack on it, just like so, until it comes down to the bottom. And then mark off which one you wanna keep. So for example, if I wanted to keep this last slat right here, I would make sure that I don't cut the middle part. I would pop off the buttons on the bottom. So there's three right here. And then I would go ahead and mark this off with tape and then remove these slats by cutting them right here and right here so I can slide it out. And then I would keep this ladder right here because this is the one I'm actually gonna keep. So I would keep this ladder right over here and then cut everything vertically except for your main pull cord. And then I would pull on the pull cord to bring your bar up to this level, this new level here. And then I would wrap at least three inches of excess onto the bottom part and put it into the plug. That's it. Hope this video helps out. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.